Let's ask ChatGPT to build us a weather app in React using Axios and the Open Weather Map API. First, you're gonna to wanna to go to chat.openai.com and now we can send it a message or ask it a question. And this is crazy, we can talk to it just like you're talking to a real person, like you and I are talking to each other right now. So let's tell it. Build me a weather app and React using Axios and the Open Weather Map API. Please include a CSS style sheet and let's just hit enter. Now, look at this, you guys, this is insane. It's already spitting out a response to us and it's actually generating code and giving us detailed instructions step-by-step step on what to do. Now, in my experience with ChatGPT, it's not gonna be perfect. We are gonna have to make probably a few small edits, but look how much time it can save us. It's still spitting out code like this. So let's go ahead and scroll up and see here. So it looks like it is, see, it's using the Open Weather Map API. It is using Axios. It's giving us step-by-step, step-by-step uh, um, commands here. So let's see, look at that. And generated some CSS for us as well. It's still going. This is incredible. Looks like it got cut off a little bit there, but let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can work with this here. So I'm gonna scroll up and let's see. So it did get that. Let's see if it gave us an input. Yep, sure it did. Looks like it's letting us search by city. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So this is pretty crazy. Let's go ahead and let's go jump over to VS Code. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and bring over my directory that I'm gonna be working in here, okay? So let's go ahead and create our React application. So we'll pop up right there. So what I'm gonna type is npx create-react-app. Now I'm gonna just go ahead and hit a period there to go ahead and install React in the current directory. Now, and I've, I've played around with ChatGPT quite a bit before, and sometimes it, whenever you ask it a question, it always gives you a different response. It's always gonna be a little bit different. So sometimes it might say, step one, you're gonna install React with npx create React app. Now, I don't see that it did that here, so, but we, of course, we probably know how to install React application. But next, it starts off with the Axios installation and then just jumps right into the code. So let's hop back over to VS Code and it looks like we're still installing a little bit here. Should be just about finished up. And let's see here. So what we're gonna want to do is, let's just go ahead and start off, once our React app is done installing, let's just go ahead and start off by installing Axios. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that and let's see if we're almost done. All right, so let's go ahead and install Axios, just like I said, npm i Axios. All right, now let's see. The next step is to create a file called weather.js and add the following code. So it looks like that is all of our code there. So let's go ahead and copy this, just like so. And let's go back over to VS Code here. And it wants us to create a component here. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna create, let's go ahead and create a components folder. And inside here, we'll create our, let's see, weather.js, we'll say JSX. And let's just go ahead and paste in all of that code like so. Next, we probably need to sign up for our Open Weather Map API, which is, again, 100% free. So just go to openweathermap.org and just go ahead and sign up here. I'm already signed in here. So let's go ahead and look at my API keys. And I'm just gonna copy over my newest one here. And you guys don't use my API key. It's not gonna work. It's gonna get bogged down. It always does. So let's go ahead and back here. Again, it is free. So just make sure you do that. So now that we're back into our code, it look, it says your API key here, pretty self-explanatory. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in there like so. And let's go ahead and hook everything up here. So I wanna see if it actually gives me any directions here. So let's scroll down and let's see. So it's making our, it has the use state there. It's the, sometimes it uses a use effect. Doesn't look like, does not look like it's using that now. Await Axios, okay. Cool, so, all right, let's jump back into our code here. And what we're gonna say is, let's see. So first off, let's go ahead and just kind of delete some of this here inside the header. And let's go ahead and looks like the weather component. So I'm gonna import weather, the one we just created from, and we'll say dot slash components slash weather, just like so, and let's use that in here. All right, so let's have a look. Let's go ahead and start our server here with npm start. 
And we'll switch back over here. There we go. Hey, there it is. Multiple windows. And let's see what it's spitting us out. Can't resolve weather.css. So let's go ahead and have a look at our code here. So it did want us to use, a, we did specify for it to use a style sheet. So let's go ahead and let's see here. So we could either add that in here or we could just say, let's just get rid of that style sheet like that. And we'll just do it like this. So we have our API key in there and let's make sure it's, let's see, it doesn't look like Let's go back and look at our styling that it gave us. Oops. So let's see here. Where's our style sheet? So there's our styling. So look, doesn't look like it's 100% complete. Left off a little bit there. Let's go ahead and copy that. Now it wants us to put it in a weather.css file. Um, we don't have to do that. Let's just go ahead and paste it inside of our app.css. So I'm just gonna kind of highlight all that and paste that in there. Now, again, it's not gonna be 100% perfect. As you can see, kind of left off a little bit of code here, but that's fine. We can go ahead and finish that off. So let's just do that. And we'll go ahead and save that. And let's see what it is showing us on the screen. So there you have it, yes. Now let's let's actually, actually test this thing out and see if it gives us any errors. So I'm gonna go ahead and test Miami. Go ahead and press enter. Look, look at that, you guys, this is incredible. It gave us some baseline styles. Let's try it again, we'll say, Dubai, go ahead, enter. Look at that, you guys. We just built this application in literally less than five minutes, a fully functional weather app in React.js. Now, it doesn't look perfect, and we did have to make some small changes, but yes, this is incredible how how crazy of a tool we can use chat GPT inside of our projects, learning how to code. So that's it for this one, you guys. Thanks for watching. Smash the like button, leave me a comment, and I will see you on the next one.